Hey, this is Nick, and I'm going to show you, give you a little quick walkthrough of my newly hacked iPod, running three different firmwares. So, um, as you can see, this is the normal Apple software that comes on the iPod. But when I do a total reset, give it a second. And the iPod reboots. We load the two loader that I had acquired from the internet. And you can't really read it, but I'm able to run three different firmwares and choose which ones I want to run. Right now I'm loading one called Rockbox. It has a lot of cool things you can do with it. You can change the themes. play a lot of different things. There are many different plugins that you can put in, including Doom, the PC video game, and I'm running which I'm running right now. Got the menu. setting up the game. There you go. That is Doom. Now we just hit the total reset button again. Which brings us back to the loader menu where I can connect to a PC, I could sleep, or I could run the third firmware which is iPod Linux which doesn't have that many great things for it doesn't really even play music but it's just a nifty thing to have I guess injecting the code starting it up as you can see it looks a lot more like the iPod it goes a lot slower though has one thing everybody adores, the game of tennis. Tetris, I mean, my bad. And there you go. That is my iPod in a nutshell. I acquired all these things from the internet. And they're relatively easy to hook up and put on. It does not affect how my iPod loads music plays music, does take up some memory, but not enough to be noticed.